What if I told you that NASA just confirmed something impossible? A massive object from beyond our solar system is glowing with artificial light, pulsing in perfect mathematical patterns, and nobody can explain what it is or why it's here. Stick around, because what happened next will blow your mind if you're captivated by the mystery of an interstellar visitor that defies every known law of physics and want to see more mind-bending cosmic stories that challenge everything we thought we knew about our place in the universe, smash that like button and let the cosmos know you are watching because every click helps fuel the search for answers that change humanity forever. Deep in the outer reaches of our solar system, astronomers are tracking what they think is just another chunk of cosmic debris, another wandering relic from some distant star system. They've seen this before with one eye Oumuamua and two eye Borisov, nothing special, but just routine observations of an interstellar traveler passing through our neighborhood. But then something happens that makes every scientist monitoring this object freeze in absolute disbelief. A faint shimmer pulses across its surface once, then again, and again, steady, rhythmic, unmistakably patterned. This is not a glitch. This is not a sensor error. This is 3i Atlas, and it just lit up like nothing humanity has ever witnessed before. The moment that pattern repeated for the third time, monitoring stations across the globe flagged the same terrifying alert. The light was not random. It was structured. It was artificial. And NASA, an organization that chooses its words with surgical precision, just confirmed what no one wanted to say out loud, something that appears to be illuminating itself with a purpose no natural object has ever shown. Let that sink in for a moment. An object from another star system, traveling through the void for possibly millions of years, is glowing with what appears to be engineered light. And it's heading deeper into our solar system right now. Now you might be thinking, okay, comets glow, asteroids reflect sunlight, what's the big deal? Here's where it gets absolutely mind-blowing. Natural luminosity from space rocks comes from outgassing or reflecting solar radiation. But 3i Atlas is still too far from the sun for that. The distance makes traditional explanations impossible. And here's the kicker. The periodicity of these pulses doesn't match anything associated with tumbling rotation or variable surface reflection. As the data poured in, astrophysicists noticed something that sent chills down their spines. The intervals between flashes aligned with ratios found in orbital mechanics and harmonic sequences. These weren't irregular bursts. They were measured, repeating, and clock-like. Imagine a heartbeat from something built by minds we, can can't, we cannot comprehend, still functioning after journeys across unimaginable gulfs of space and time. But wait, because what NASA discovered next makes the glowing even stranger. When they emphasize transparency and scientific rigor in their public statement, they confirm something unprecedented. The light signatures were real, repeatable, and verified by multiple observatories across different continents using different wavelengths. This wasn't mass hallucination. This wasn't equipment malfunction. This was intrinsic to the object itself. And the moment that information went public, something shifted in human consciousness. For the first time in history, we had reason to question whether we were simply observers of an indifferent universe, or whether something out there was observing us in return. Think about the implications for just a second. Unlike mysterious radio bursts from distant galaxies that could be anything, the lights from 3i Atlas are coming from a physical object inside our solar system. That proximity forces us to contemplate possibilities that used to belong in science fiction. If these emissions are artificial, does that mean this object is a probe, a vessel? Or could it be something far older and more enigmatic? Perhaps a fragment of a civilization that died out millions of years ago, still drifting through cosmic darkness until gravity briefly pulled it into our domain. NASA didn't claim to have answers, but acknowledging these questions was enough to ignite scientific scrutiny unlike anything we've seen before.
And here's where the urgency becomes critical. Interstellar visitors travel at immense 3 i atlas is following a sharp hyperbolic trajectory, which means humanity has only a limited window to study it before it slingshots around the sun and vanishes forever into the darkness beyond. Every single hour brings it marginally closer, but every hour also reduces the time we have left. These pulses aren't just curiosities, they're signals from something we might never encounter again. Signals that could rewrite everything we understand about our place in the cosmos. Later, we'll discover evidence that's even more disturbing. Evidence suggesting this object might be reacting to its environment in ways that no dead chunk of rock ever could. But first, let me tell you about the possibility that's keeping scientists awake at night. What if these lights aren't meant for communication at all? What if they're remnants of ancient programming, a derelict machine still executing commands from a civilization that no longer exists? Picture it, a device launched millennia ago, perhaps millions of years in the past, by beings with technology so advanced they could send objects drifting among the stars. If that civilization is long gone, the mere existence of such an artifact would transform our understanding of life in the galaxy. It would prove we are not alone. We were never alone. But, but some researchers are exploring an even more provocative idea. Telescopic data revealed that the pulses shifted slightly in wavelength when Earth rotated into and out of alignment with the object. Now this could be coincidence, but it raises questions that are almost too wild to consider. Were the lights part of a scanning mechanism? A navigational aid? Or could they be an attempt at communication from something that's aware we're watching? Think about that. An object from another star system potentially adjusting its signals based on our position. That's not passive debris. That's something responding to... And by the way, this discovery has forced scientists to completely re-evaluate our previous encounters with interstellar visitors. Remember one Eye Oumuamua? That bizarre cigar-shaped object with the weird acceleration that nobody could explain? At the time, some suggested it might be technological, but there wasn't enough evidence. Now, with 3 Eye Atlas emitting structured light, researchers are going back through old data with fresh eyes. What if technology drifting through space isn't rare at all? What if we've just now developed instruments sensitive enough to notice it? The galaxy might be filled with ancient travelers, silent machines wandering between the stars, waiting for someone to finally see them. Let me tell you what happened when NASA teams tried to identify the mechanism behind these emissions. They proposed natural processes involving exotic ices and magnetic interactions but the regularity of the pattern destroyed that theory. Another hypothesis involved piezoelectric effects from internal stresses, but that couldn't produce the precise timing intervals they were recording. Every single attempt to explain this phenomenon with known physics hit a wall. The most conservative interpretation, an unknown natural mechanism, remained technically possible but increasingly ridiculous. And the bolder interpretation, that these lights are evidence of alien engineering hung in the air unspoken, but impossible to ignore. Now here's where things get truly fascinating. The cultural reaction to this announcement unfolded in ways nobody predicted. For decades, the idea of extraterrestrial technology lived in movies and speculation. Suddenly, we had an officially confirmed astronomical anomaly that resisted every natural explanation. So would he. Artists, philosophers, writers, and everyday people around the world grappled with what it meant. Humanity has wondered for generations what encountering something built by another intelligence would feel like. 3 i Atlas offered a glimpse, not as a dramatic landing or clear message, but as a distant glowing enigma drifting silently past our doorstep, indifferent to our existence, yet impossible to ignore. Okay? The rhythm of those pulses became a focal point for endless speculation. Their unwavering precision and mathematical relationships 
screamed intention, but intention without context is an unsolvable puzzle. If those pulses carry information, decoding them would require understanding the sender's logic, their physics, their entire sensory framework. They might not even be meant for communication. They could be operational cycles of a machine maintaining internal stability or tracking its position through star fields that haven't changed in millions of years. To assume meaning is tempting, but scientists know better than to project human expectations onto something utterly alien. And, but let's talk about scale for a moment, because this is where your mind really starts to break. If Atlas carries technology, it could represent a fragment of something much, much larger. It might be a probe sent by a civilization exploring the galaxy. It could be a discarded instrument from a long-range expedition. Or here's the terrifying part. It might be a tiny component of a megastructure, something so vast we can't even conceptualize it, dismantled by time and gravity over eons. Dot, those lights could be the last functioning elements of a device mostly destroyed by its journey through interstellar space. Think about that. We might be glimpsing one tiny piece of a story that began in ways and places beyond human comprehension. And consider the age. Interstellar travel at speeds below light demands astronomical timescales. 3i Atlas could be millions of years old. Its creators might have risen, flourished, built wonders we can't imagine, and then vanished completely long before humans even existed. Those pulses could be the final heartbeat of a civilization whose only legacy is fragments scattered across the galaxy, silent testimonies waiting for rare moments when a young species becomes capable of noticing them. The universe might be filled with these remnants drifting through the void, carrying stories no one will ever fully understand. Now let me tell you about the debate this sparked among scientists because it reveals something profound about humanity itself. When confronted with phenomena that don't fit existing models, we oscillate wildly between extraordinary explanations and overly conservative ones. Some researchers demanded restraint, insisting every attempt must be made to understand these lights within known physics before invoking aliens. Others argued this anomaly was exactly the evidence humanity has hoped for, proof we're not alone. NASA's job became balancing these perspectives, presenting data without sensationalism while acknowledging its profound strangeness. And that balancing act revealed just how unprepared we are for contact with something genuinely other. Eh? The discovery also triggered renewed interest in planetary defense and artifact detection. If artificial objects can enter our solar system undetected until they're practically on top of us, we need better monitoring. 3i Atlas proved that interstellar debris can carry more than inert rock. It can carry technology. It could carry instruments designed to study any planetary systems they encounter. This realization pushed discussions about deep space observation infrastructure to the forefront urging nations and agencies to collaborate on higher resolution telescopes and more dot sensitive detection networks capable of spotting faint anomalies across unimaginable distances. As the object continued its approach, more refined data added layers to the mystery that nobody expected. And here's something that deepens the mystery even further. As 3i Atlas crossed regions where solar wind density fluctuated, the object appeared to modulate its pulses in response. In higher density zones, pulses contracted, becoming shorter but more intense. In lower density regions, they lengthened. This adaptive behavior led researchers to theorize signals might serve as environmental mapping, using light to assess surrounding medium in real time. If true, Atlas might be equipped with sensors interpreting spatial conditions through luminosity as diagnostic tools actively studying the space it travels through. Another interpretation suggested pulses act like optical shielding, 
adjusting output to counteract solar wind pressure variations, helping stabilize orientation or protect internal components from degradation. Whatever the purpose, adaptive modulation signaled reactivity unprecedented for any interstellar object ever observed. NASA acknowledged this adaptability as one of the most significant indicators Atlas might transcend inert debris, representing something actively engaged with its environment in ways we're only beginning to understand. High magnification imaging revealed faint patterns on its surface, geometric shapes almost imperceptible, grooves or channels carved into material with straight lines and intersections hinting at deliberate design rather than natural fracturing. Researchers debated whether markings served structural, optical, or even symbolic purposes. They might be heat distribution systems or optical grids manipulating incoming light. Alternatively, they could be remnants of once larger constructs, traces of external plating or shielding eroded by eons but still visible. The most startling development occurred when researchers observed Atlas simultaneously in ultraviolet and infrared. Results revealed pulses weren't uniform across wavelengths. In ultraviolet, pulses were sharper with distinct profiles suggesting rapid energy transitions. In infrared, they were smoother, more gradual, as though emitted energy diffused through internal layers before reaching surface. This discrepancy hinted at multi-stage emission processes, light generated internally and filtered through complex material structures. Such mechanisms would be extraordinarily difficult to produce naturally, strengthening hypotheses about engineered components surviving journeys across cosmic voids. Kumunchering stations collected radio data to determine if the object emitted electromagnetic signals beyond visible spectrum. No coherent transmissions were detected, but absence itself became significant. If Atlas is technological, perhaps its creators favored visible or ultraviolet light over radio frequencies for communication or system control. Radio waves disperse easily in interstellar space, whereas certain optical frequencies remain stable across enormous distances. The choice of light might reflect engineering principles optimized for endurance over temporal scales that dwarf human civilization. Don't stop here. The universe is full of secrets waiting to be uncovered. 3 i Atlas represents just one mystery among countless others drifting through the cosmic ocean. What other ancient travelers are passing through our solar system unnoticed? What messages are encoded in light we haven't learned to read? What civilizations rose and fell among distant stars, leaving behind only fragments for us to find millions of years later? Click on the next video and join us as we explore dot even more astonishing mysteries from the farthest reaches of space because the journey into the unknown has only just begun and the answers we seek might be closer than we ever imagined. You know.